Hi there, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Carter Sand. I'm the TA. I've been the TA of this class for a couple of for since it started, since this session started. And I'm also the co-author of a book called Hello World Computer Programming for Kids, which uses a lang which uses Python just like I'm going to be teaching. So today I'm going to be teaching about functions. And functions in Python are just like little snippets of code that you can run as many times as you want and you give them a name. But, you know, it's boring just for me to tell you about them. How about I show you? Let's make a function like say, no, not def. Let's make it, let's call it say hi. Let's go print hello there. And now we can run say hi in our main program here. And now this should print hello there. Yes, it does. Because basically what happened here was when we called say hi by typing it in the brackets like any normal Python function, it executed the code inside here, which in this case printed hello there. And functions can also include arguments, which are like l variables that you give a function to like give it some more details on what you want it to do. So let's make a argument like the name. That's the name of the person who you want to say hi to. So now it should say, so who should we say hello to? Let's say Superman. <laughs> we can also say we can also call this function multiple times. So let's say hi to Bob. You can take questions, Carter, if you want to. Yeah, and does anyone have suggestions on people we should say hello to? You guys can speak out loud. John? <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> and John. So now this should say hello to a whole bunch of people. There we go. So it says hello to Superman, Bob, Brian, and John. So functions can also return values. So you can get a value from the function that you can use later. So let's say def get a, let's say make greeting, and let's have it accept name. And now we can use the return to make it return a value. So now let's make it return um, well, the same thing that say hi print. So let's go hello plus name plus and then exclamation mark. Actually, that's boring. Let's make it choose a couple of different greetings. So let's say maybe if the name is Superman. two equal signs because it's a comparison. And let's make it return Howdy Superman. So now if we give make greeting name, then it'll return Howdy Superman and then it'll stop because whenever you return something from a function, the function just stops right there. So let's say print make greeting superman. So now we're taking the value that make greeting returns here and then we're just printing it. We aren't doing anything else with it. Howdy superman, you can see that worked there. And functions can also call other functions. So in, let's say in say hi here, we can say make greeting name. So now whenever we say hi to Bob, whenever we say hi Bob here, it will call the make greeting function with Bob and then it'll take whatever that returns and then it'll print it. So let's see if that still works. So because the function called make greeting, everything still works. 
And you can use functions in a variety of ways, like we did here, you can use them to reuse code. You can call them from anywhere in your program after you've defined it. And yeah, there you go, there are functions. You can also make a function call itself, and that's called recursion. We've been over that before. The tree, for example. Yeah, like the tree. Mr. Font talks about that. Recursion. That tree function yeah. So you can make functions call themselves, you can do all kinds of things with functions. So there we go, those are functions. You can use them in their program and they're incredibly useful.